All right, I'm also going to show you guys uh, quickly the 3DM mod tool. Uh, this tool is natively in Chinese, it's not English. However, it does allow us to do things that the mod tool cannot. So uh, here it is on the uh, NLC download database, 2K12, Tools and Editors, and 3DM mod tool. Pretty simple, just hit download. It's again, it's another WinRAR file, so you just need to extract it. Um, in the folder itself, there's two exe files. Both of them start the application. To be honest, I really don't know why there's two exes. They both work. Um, and as you can see, I don't have the Chinese language installed on my uh, computer, so I'm, I, I can't be seeing. I can't see all the symbols. Um, another thing to know with this tool is that I don't trust it uh, decompressing anything. So I decompress my if files before I use it. You can either do that with the mod tool or you can use it with the decompressor. I, it, I'm, it might work, it might not, I just don't trust it. Um, so open a file, you need to hit this two boxes, and then hit these two boxes. Honestly, I, I, I don't know, that, that's fine. I, I, don't, I don't know anything about this tool other than what I know. One thing that is nice about it is unlike the mod tool, it can look at and edit models that are not normally editable in the mod tool. Um, for an example, I will show you the low version of uh, Rucker Park. And as you can see, it's got all the textures here. This bottom one has these two models here that don't look like anything. They look really screwed up. What you need to do is hit this button right here. I don't know what it does, but if you click it, all of a sudden, it looks like a model of Rucker Park like it's supposed to. And these are the uh, backboards for it. Um, to export these, you have to right click here and the top one is export, the bottom one is import. I haven't experimented with it, I don't know if it works. Um, the other thing to note is with um, textures like this one, uh, this button over here changes uh, the transparency, which is important for what I actually use this tool for. Now you can use this tool to open up and edit um, the uh, score bug. So you can uh, change the positions, make it into the ESPN one, or uh, a better TNT one. I mean, it's, it's nice for that. But what I usually use this for is uniforms. So I have here, you're going to ignore this now. I have here the Celtics home uniform. And as you can see up here, it tells us the size of the textures and the compression of the textures. Um, I can turn the transparency on and off. I don't think this matters now. It might, it might not. I, I, I don't know. But this is it right here because the mod tool, the normal mod tool, does not support the letters or the numbers. Um, and this tool does, which is, you know, it's great. So to export, <laughs> You have to right click the texture and you get these boxes. You want this one right here. This one's export. This one is import. So you want to export this. Now, this one will also default to using DDS files and we don't want that. We want the ping files, the PNG files. So we'll go ahead and save that. And as you can see, you know, we have, we've exported the texture properly. Um, you can edit it in GIMP. I believe it's indexed um, texture, and I'm not too sure how to edit that. Um, all I do is I, I just import it into GIMP, make the change, and then I just press save. I don't do a save as, I just do save, and it works. So to import back in, it's because I made, I made these gold, you just right click, hit this one right here, and uh, choose your your ping file. Open it. Um, I have no idea what that says. I don't care. Just said yes. And there that is. Now I believe this tool requires you to save the file. It doesn't happen automatically like the mod tool. You have to actually save it. I think that might be it. And I'm going to say yes. And then I think that one is a save as. Okay, that one's save as. Just in case. So let's see if I did good.
Yep, I did good. Great. So that's all there is to it um, with the 3DM tool. And I will be going on to Blender next. Get some 3D stuff going.